what you're about to see is a social experiment designed to find out if seven beautiful women and seven geeks can help each other to become a whole lot more. Last week, after surviving the elimination, Richard continued his feud with Chuck. Howdy do, Chuckaroo. I'm back and he hates it. The guys were given the chance to hone their dating skills by having a one-on-one -on -one date with the girls. And Chuck failed to make his move on Scarlett. Do you know anything about the Quaker faith? No. In the challenges, the girls got to go shopping for the guys on a budget. Your tax should all be the same. Well, no, different prices. I'm horrible at math, especially in my head. And give the guys a makeover. This is your personal hairstyle. While the guys had to put their new looks to use in an effort to see who could get the most women's phone numbers. Excuse me, miss. How are you? Could I get your number so I could call you? My name's Chuck, by the way. Hi there. Oh. In the end, Chuck proved that he was the most skilled pickup artist, giving him the chance to send his enemy Richard to the elimination room to face Bill and Lauren. I go down with honor. <laughs> you go down with ridicule, Rich. In the elimination room, Richard and Mindy prevailed for the second time in a row. Oh and Bill and Lauren were sent home. Now only three teams remain. Sean and Scarlett, Chuck and Kaitlyn, and Richard and Mindy in the quest to become more than just the beauty and the geek. just keeps sending us to elimination. He sent us last time and he sent us this time and he'll continue sending us if, if he can. I can't wait to see the look on Chuck's face when I walk in that door and howdy do, Chuckaroo! At this point, I don't know if I can handle Richie. I don't know. And then he said that if once he comes back, he's just gonna <laughs> be even worse. He can do what he wants? He's I'm gonna terrorize <laughs> I more than anyone else have let Richard get under my skin because he seems to, to help reinforce the negative stereotypes that people have about nerds. Oh, that's them. Come in. Come in. Oh my gosh, hello. Hello, Chuck. It's good to hello, see you. Rich. How'd it go? It went well, obviously we're here. Good to see you again, Kaitlyn. Hi. Hello, Scarlett. Me amor. Hold on. What do you think? Hi! <laughs> Un besito. What I'd like to do is steal Scarlett from Chuck and win the money. And that would just be ideal. I think we should go in the hot tub tonight, my love. Chuck and Richard have completely different personalities. And so Chuck doesn't quite understand why Richard is just so out there. Did you hear what he said? What did he say? He said, he said, Chuck, I'm going to go down with honor. I saluted him. And he goes, no, you're gonna go down with ridicule. I do believe that Chuck hates my guts. Things are getting bad. Well, you just need to take it easy because Chuck, I'm, su I'm sure Chuck doesn't mean any harm to you. Oh. It doesn't mean anything, I promise. Chuck doesn't mean any harm to me. No, he, it's stop it. Come on. Seriously, you know that. Chuck's out to get me and not with so subtle tactics either. My response is ding, 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 gloves on. Watch out, Chuck. I'm glad that I'll have some more time to get to know Scarlett. 
And even if it is just sort of a, um, almost a summer camp kind of thing, I'm not ready for the summer to be over. There are a lot of great things about Czech, but um, I don't know if he's really my type. And I think because he's different, I might find it attractive. I have no idea what the challenge might be. I'm trying not to have any expectations because you know, I'll either be disappointed or blown away, more likely the latter. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Congratulations to all of you for making it to the final three and getting one step closer at the ultimate grand prize of $250,000. Now, to survive this long, you've had to surpass your opponent's knowledge in the elimination room and overcome difficult challenges. Those challenges test skills that you had to learn from your partner, but today, that's all about to change. You and your partner will be working together to win one big challenge. There's an RV outside. There, you will find your study materials and a note explaining what your task is. Remember, there are only three teams remaining, so the losers of this challenge will face off in the elimination room. And the winner is guaranteed a place in the final round. You have a few minutes to grab some things and stuff them into your backpack. Have a good trip. Brian told us that we were gonna be getting on an RV and going somewhere. You know, at the time we had no idea where until we got up to our rooms and, and there were camping sacks waiting for us. Oh my gosh! Have you ever been backpacking? I'm a Boy Scout! I'm always backpacking! I've been involved in Boy Scouts since I was real tiny. You know, I have done my fair share of hiking and camping. I don't know what to take here, Mindy. Have you ever been camping? No. Never? The closest that I've ever come to camping in my life is raking the leaves in the fall. And even then, uh, it takes me about 10 seconds before I need an ice water and a sandwich. Like, as far as like hair stuff goes, you think I should even take like... Their challenge could be go camping in the woods and then look as good as possible as you leave, but somehow I don't think so. I don't know if we're gonna be sleeping outside or not, so... Well, we have a sleeping bag, so that doesn't bode well. I'm gonna take a Band-Aid. I wouldn't wear that bracelet. And I really shouldn't take these heels. <laughs> you don't want to be wearing heels outside. Here, I'm gonna take, I'm gonna get a new underwear and the rest of this. Well, should I bring a change of clothes in case we get wet or something? I did. I brought a lot of clothes. Move your hands. So Sean, on the way to Eagle Scout, you don't have to uh, learn how to camp or anything like that, right? You, that's not involved, right? You asking trick questions here? <laughs> <laughs> are gonna crash and burn, my friend. <laughs> Chuck and I are a little bit concerned. Sean is an Eagle Scout, so he does have a lot of experience um, in the wilderness. Uh, I, on the other hand, ha have not really any. Um, I've never even been camping in a tent. I don't care if I have to dig a ditch and in it. I will, because I do not want to lose. This will be very good for you. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know about that. It's not about winning, it's about losing to Chuck. This is exciting. I do not want to lose to Chuck. Oh God, I hope I make it back. Coming up, the teams head to the great outdoors. We're soldiers, we're warriors. Ow, my ankle. Can beauties become mountain climbers? Uh -oh. Uh -oh. This is insane. Can geeks become mountain men? Oh, yuck. Come on, Chuck, let's go! Can beauties and geeks work together to survive? Oops. Find out what dangers lurk in the wild. <laughs> Chuck! When Beauty and the Geek returns. Fishing? You know how to fish? When we got into the RV, there were books on camping and fishing. And there was a note explaining uh, the challenge. 
Today you're headed to the great outdoors for an overnight camping trip. Your challenge will begin as soon as you arrive at the task. First, follow the markers through the wilderness to the pond where you will have to catch a fish. Second, race to the campsite and set up your tent. Third, gather wood to start a fire. The first team to toast a marshmallow wins this challenge. All right. I'm studying very, very hard. Spinning, fly fishing, sinkers, hookers, trout, I know it all. I've set up this kind of tent before. Sean knows how to put up tents, he knows how to make a fire, he's been fishing, so I knew that this was gonna be easy. Skim bait and lures. Yeah. I was a pretty scrawny kid and I got picked on a fair amount. So anytime there's there's a challenge that's sort of gonna say, you know, hey, show me what you got, like I, I you know, I really enjoy that. It was pretty tense, and we all know that whoever wins the challenge will be immune, and that the other two will have to go to the elimination chamber. So the RV pulled up and stopped, and that's when the race began. I happened to be in the seat closest to the door, so I jumped out first. Ready? Come on. Come we're on. soldiers, Mindy. Oh my god, Richard, you're ready. So fast. Come on. We're soldiers, we're warriors. Ow, my ankle. Tally ho! Ha! Ha! I mean, we are like sprinting up this hill, and we look up, and this hill is like this. <laughs> this is insane. Are you okay? It was pretty early on in the race when my stomach started just hurting really bad. You wanna sit down a second? I'm feeling good. Are you all right? Richie ended up carrying my pack for me. I don't think he really thought that he could, and I actually really didn't think that he could either, but he did, and it was really sweet. I've been camping a lot, but not a whole lot recently. <laughs> I wasn't doing so good. Like my leg muscles were cramping up a bit. I was feeling a little lightheaded. Eventually, I just had to take my pack off and lay down. Sean, can you get up? All right. Can you make it? The medic came over to check me out. <coughs> he checked my blood pressure, it was 158 over 58, which is not good. Sean just couldn't continue because he was extremely exhausted and he couldn't catch his breath. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right, so we're gonna have to start here. Are you feeling better now? No. Hi. Do you wanna stop? No, we don't stop, we keep going. I don't care if I come in last place by 25 minutes, I am not quitting. Well, if you can't do this, then... You all right? Yep. No. Here. Here, why don't you go ahead of me? I just want to jump right back into that RV and find the nearest cafeteria. We're looking good. Scarlett had to wait until Sean could get up, so Kylie and Chuck ended up taking the lead. <laughs> you all right, babe? Yep, I'm good. All right, good. Wait. Gut check, I'm so proud Wait. of you. Just keep going. Don't stop for me even if I fall again. Okay. Unless I scream. Looks clear. I put my pack back on and trotted along. I was moving slower at that point, but I was moving. Never say die. <laughs> go Chuck, start right. behind us, go. Finally we come around the corner and we see the pond. And by this time, Scarlett is right up behind us. I mean, she is so close. Kite and I just grabbed our poles and started hauling the fish in. They said there should be a pair of scissors. Yeah. All right. You carry the back. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Some challenge, huh, Mindy? Hi. Get in the way. I'm out of your way. I'm out of your way. I like the romantic idea behind fishing, but I don't like fishing. All right. Now let's do this to it, huh? Where's the reel? You have to unlock it. How do you unlock it? Is yours all There's tied no up? no handle. What the hell is the handle? Sean! I was not allowed to get both fish. My partner had to get the other one. We had to reel in a fish. You know, the fish was already attached to the rod and the line. Just pull the cord, babe. I'm pulling the cord, yeah. babe. Richard just does not know how to survive on his own. Like, he always has to have someone there to either tell him what to do or show him what to do. Okay, I'm gonna get, okay, I'm gonna get my pack. I had to just jump in there and get the damn thing. No, but hurry, reel it fast. Just squeeze hard. I'm squeezing. Pick up, not, it, pick up the fish. Oh, yuck. Come on, Chuck! 
back, let's go! So when we arrive at the campsite, and we're the first. Listen, you get those rods assembled. So we gotta keep moving fast. Yep. We're gonna be here any minute. Yep. I get to the end of the bridge, like, we see the campsite, and I see that Kyle and Chuck already have their tent laid out. It's not up yet. It doesn't go through that. It goes through, no, it goes okay. through this. Then you tie it. Okay. We can do this. Yeah. You didn't put this through, dum-dum. This is not helping when you talk like that, okay? Um, see, how, see how I laid that one out? How? Oh. Sorry. Sorry. Right. You can do this. Okay, we got our tent up. We got the poles in. We got the tent up. It only took us a sec or two to figure out how to get the rain fly on. What else do you need? Come on. Okay, we need to get the fire going. All let's right. go, let's go. Oh, see this? It has yeah. to go in that little hole. Oh, okay. Right I got there. You. Okay. And I just hold that there. Fine, I'll hold it. Being held. Hurry, hurry, hurry. I just need enough to light a marshmallow. Okay. That's plenty. That's plenty. Come on over. Come on over. Good, good, good. No idea how they did this. Sean. Scarlett, I'm not sure how they put this thing together. All right, we good. gotta get six. Go get little six. Ah, yes, little... twigs, twigs. You go get, gather six. This is Kindle. Kindling. Where? Do, aha, we put it in the you pit. Have, no, you have to get a lot. Yes. No, it's okay. We got the wood going. <laughs> they won. At that point, I basically wanted to just like punch something. I wanted to scream because, you know, I had really tried. It's just very frustrating. I think um, Sean gives up too easily. He doesn't have confidence in himself. And that is very sad. And this is what this is all about. Yeah, all. high five. Okay. Oh. oh, we had to put the rain fly on still too. Hey, well, what's the difference? We're going to elimination. I'm gonna have a marshmallow. This is one of like the easiest things. <laughs> because Chuck and Kaitlyn won, Scarlett and I are up on the chopping block against Richie and Mindy, and one of the two of us couples are going home. How you feeling, boss? Good, boss. Dude, I saw you lugging two packs. I know, That's that ballsy. was awesome. Yes, very ballsy. Yeah. If there was a mountain lion that came after the six of us, I would feed it Chuck. And then I would cower. I was, I was really feeling that too. I have a little bit of a hard time sometimes reading how, how Scarlett really feels about me. All right, to the winner. Congratulations, you won the challenge. Your team now has a 50% chance of winning $250,000. Enjoy your night under the stars. <coughs> I am definitely not looking forward to sharing a tent with Sean, and I'm not. I'll sleep outside if I have to. See what happens when I start talking smack? I barf. Scarlett and I are still a little bit frustrated about not having won the challenge and having to go to the elimination room in the first place. I'm gonna be really, really sad if Scarlett and I get knocked out in this elimination. Not just getting knocked out, but the way it happened. I think if I'd done a better job of pacing myself, you know, we would have at least had a better chance of winning the challenge. You know you beat us. Um, and I'm so sorry. It's just frustrating because it's one of those things where I could have done the all by myself. I think that Scarlett was a little mean to Sean. I mean, the kid was like thrown up on the side of the mountain and yeah, it was probably because he was out of shape and he overexerted himself, but I mean, who are we to judge? I am just frustrated. <laughs> Oh my I just thought this was something I could do. I really hope. He gave it his best, and you know, in a situation like this, that's all you can do. You know what? Although that was what nothing you could even help, Sean. All of uh, the adults you guys did great. Stay in. I'm now glad I didn't have to get shipped to the emergency room. Scarlett herself hasn't won a challenge yet, and he's never once been mean to her or acted disappointed. I just don't think it was very nice. Did very well, okay? 
I don't think there's anything to be upset about. No, I know. I just, that, <laughs> it will. You're it was just too talk, easy yeah. to just <laughs> I gonna go by, like, you know? <laughs> Scarlett was very upset because she knew that she had it in her to win the race. I wouldn't worry about it. I mean, what's done is done. They know oh, that know, 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 know that you're... Uh, this is the only way I can get my frustration out. <laughs> but I wish I could just, like, punch something. <laughs> That's what's party started. Good times and good friends. Cheers, guys. I get a kiss instead. Oh. Hey. Wow. <laughs> wow. Sorry, Chuck, you'll have to go for that somewhere else. You heard the woman, Sean. I'm going to have to go elsewhere for my kiss. Oh, my God. What? Did you guys just kiss? Yeah. The joke was not supposed to be that I was kissing another guy. It was that everybody was assuming that she meant that I was supposed to go kiss Scarlett. Oh, gross. It was consensual, it was no big deal. <laughs> One of my sort of lifelong hobgoblins has been thinking too much, and, and it's only recently that I've really learned how nice it is to, to turn off the inner monologue and enjoy the company. Duckies. Hello, duckies. We're finally calming down. <laughs> I hope Rich can settle down tonight. Because it'd be nice just to have a pleasant evening, sort of, out in the woods a little bit. I can enjoy it. <laughs> I don't see why people even camp at all. And I got very bored. We're out in the wilderness, everybody. Woo! You go out to the field. You bring everything from your house. If there are any bears, we just go like this a little bit. So why not just stay in your house the whole time? And everybody's happy. Rich, we're feel free to be an idiot wherever you want, but not around the fire, please. Okay? <laughs> Chuck? No. Just, yeah, Chuck. You know, I mean, just let him have fun. Yeah, let me have fun. We're sitting, we're walking around in a circle here. Nothing's happening. I'm just trying to have a good time. The hot dogs come out really well. You think so, Chuck? You really think so? I'm gonna sleep right back here. And I'm gonna wake up tomorrow with a full beard and be a man! <laughs> I decided that it was time to prove myself as a man. No bats! One. Woo! Yeah. <laughs> Richard, I have a question. Are you going to act like that all night? <laughs> Richard's always kind of had his little antics that he likes to do. And Richard. <laughs> it was getting to the point where he was starting to make everyone pretty frustrated. Rich, Richard, you stop Richard. around by the fire right now. Stop it. All right. Ah! It wasn't necessarily that Rich was being unusually obnoxious. It was more just that, that campfires for me tend to be a pretty special time. I am a master at this. Oh, I see, I see Ryan's belt. Oh, there's Cassiopeia. Here, we're gonna start to kindle this stuff. Rich, we don't need kindling. Ah. Ah. Okay, Rich, don't take this wrong, buddy, but you're not putting anything else in the fire. Okay, got it? Yes, sir. Chuck's always picking on Richard, and he treats him like a child, kind of. This is bark. Rich, I'm serious. Why, why can't he I'm just put Why can't I just put the bark in, in Chuck? Because he's completely burn. unstable. It's been a long time since anybody's managed to, to effectively push my buttons at all. For a while, I was doing a fine job of tuning things out, and it's just too bad that after a while, it, it, gets, it gets to be too much. You ever been tested for ADD, Rich? No, but I, you said you had it, right? Yeah. I feel like your life would probably go a little smoother if you had a little better control over your impulses. You think? I mean, better ability to read social cues, mm -hmm. um, because that's clearly an area. Clearly. I mean, but there are, clearly. there are several disorders where uh, that kind of perceptual problem can be an issue. He has his own little act with his philosophies of life, doctor, doctor, the whatever he talks about, whatever he babbles out. You think I have ADD? I don't know. I think it's possible. Because if you do, I think you're full of Fair enough. For the first time ever, Richard finally, like, you know, stood up to him. You have such the wrong idea. Nobody I think you have psychological problems. No, yes, Chuck sir. goes around saying I have ADD, I got this, I got that. I think that was very brave of Richard to really sit up for himself and to have said that to Chuck. Why were you mean to him? Why did you say he had psychological problems? That was very mean. Some of these behaviors really do border on pathological, and I've seen a lot of pathology. Okay. He does it to piss you off. 
because you're just so, you know, you don't loosen up and he sees that and he wants to get you mad, that's all. I definitely snapped back at Chuck. And even though he studied medicine, it doesn't give him the right, you know, to diagnose anybody. And you, you have your evaluation, at my evaluation. Oh, I'm not evaluating anything. I just have my own opinion. I mean, whatever that means. If, same thing. Same, no, it's not. I actually meant to, to talk to Richie for a little while about the idea of maybe getting evaluated. I sort of let him goad me into doing it in a public setting, which I really, really shouldn't have done. Sean, you want to look for some like branches or something? Here. I'm definitely going to tell Sean the way I feel. I definitely want to tell him that he needs to toughen up. Sean. What? What happened? I don't know. I feel like you gave up. It felt like I gave up yes. because I threw up? We were like this close, Sean. And this is too easy for me. And maybe for you, the constellation, the math thing is way too simple. Are you done? Are you going to say anything? Are you going to explain to me? I, I mean, what are you Scarlet, feeling? I've been standing here trying to say, I don't know what I can explain. And you start yelling again. I tried. I could have decided I'll go to the emergency room, but I didn't. I got up. I'm sorry. I'm just like mad. I'll calm down in a second. Trust me. When I woke up this morning, I definitely felt like a knot in my stomach because I know that Sean and I are going to be going into the illumination room. When we get back, I'm going to read the books. What? When we get back, we're going to have to read the books. This is going to be the third time that we've gone to the illumination room. I haven't worried about any of the other two. I'm not about to start worrying for this one. We actually feel like a, a cat who has nine lives. We're so close. We're so close. Glad we're back. Scarlett was frustrated after what happened yesterday, but that's made her even more committed to get me to work hard and for us to work harder as a team to get ready for tonight. Can you do me a favor? Can you look at the stuff? Yes, I can. Because um, you said that you knew everything yesterday, and obviously you didn't. I'm really determined to like make up for yesterday because you know obviously I want to redeem myself for what happened. Counterclockwise, that's to the left. left. So really hard. I'm trying. You might have to go out the window. Mindy is by far the more common collected one. I'm coming to get you, Mindy. I'm like a teapot ready to let off some of that steam. You can come out this way. Thank you. You're welcome. Oh, that's great. That's, that's, that's great. I failed you. I failed you, Mindy. Okay. I'm gonna take a shower. Once you're done with that, can you please just look over the material? And if you think that there's something I need to read, please let me know. And uh, make that a priority, please. I will try. Well, what else is there to do? Right in there. Yeah. Uh, this is so nice. Thank you. You're welcome. Uh, oh, right there. Yeah, I can feel it. Uh, uh, ah. Yeah. Hey, Richard. Do you see uh, Sean down there? Yeah, he's reading. Okay, good. He's studying. So, you're studying in the hot tub, right? No, not yet. Now, what were you doing? I was putting my feet in the thing. Was that all you were doing, just putting your feet in the jacuzzi? And I got a foot massage from Chuck. Because what? My feet hurt. What is wrong with you? Why are you acting like this? You got a foot massage from the enemy. Richard's been driving me crazy. Have you ever been on part of a team for anything? I was on a, I did, I did a little league. How was it? It was horrible. He had calmed down quite a bit, and then all of a sudden he's just like, 
back to his worst point that he was at again. So half the time, you're running around acting like a crazy, like, psychopath. <laughs> you know, just overall, like, I want you to be able to analyze, like, social situations and to know when too much is too much. Okay, now let me just tell you one thing. I do know when too much is too much. The strange thing is I, I just keep going. It's a compulsion to perform, I think. And that's not gonna go away. Let me tell you, when it comes time for the, for the serious stuff to happen, you know, I buckled down. Mindy's approach to this entire game has been that of true self-examination. Whereas I've approached the game in a sort of comedic light way. And I think that that's cause for some friction. I would have taken these off before had I known I was going to be changing tires, hiking mountains, and putting up tents. I wish I had like a metaphorical denailing to do. Yeah. What? Nothing. I would really like to see Sean and Scarlett coming back tonight. I want to have as much time as I can with Scarlett, so I do hope they're able to win tonight. Wow. I always feel sort of mildly guilty being part of a gender that expects women to subject themselves to things like this for the sake of appearances. You're so smart, Chuck. Well, is a trout fresh water or salt water? Fresh. Did you just know that? Mm-hmm. The hardest part is having to answer the questions. Watching Mindy answer them is not hard because I know that she's gonna get them right. If you have to go potty, you know, you have to dig um, six to eight inches deep. Right now, all I'm thinking is study, 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 study. No, I can't, I, you know, I can't study anymore. I know there's a lot on the line, no pun intended, <laughs> but I can't do it. Yeah. Hey, guys. I'm sure Rich is, is probably still angry with me for um, my sort of brief loss of temper last night. And the more the more I sort of get to know you, the more I think, you know, early 20s is an awkward time. Early 20s? So, oh, oh, oh. You know Thank, what I mean? Yeah, I know what you mean. I think you're really going to come into your own. Well, so. I appreciate that, Chuck. And you're uh, only 27. I do believe that the reason why I don't sort of make intimate connections with people is because people can't sort of break the buffer that they sense. Anyway, You're pound it up. Pound it up. Take care, Chuck. Have fun down there. Okay, I will. Show us the love, Chuck. Love is coming. Excellent. Chuck and I got very close. I'll see you again, okay? Okay. Good luck. I knew that if anyone were around, I wouldn't get a goodbye kiss from Scarlett. Good luck. Okay. Even so, the, the goodbye still felt a little cold. I'll save you a slice of pizza or something. It's more about the game now than the relationship, and I just don't want to hurt myself, don't want to hurt him. looking at it right now is that I haven't gotten nervous for the last two elimination rounds, so I'm not about to start getting nervous for this one. Sean has been an Eagle Scout for a very long time, so he better make this happen. Knowing that I might be sent home today in just a few hours, it makes me sad, actually, because I don't want to leave. If I get knocked out in a field where I have all this experience, I'm going to feel like an idiot. Scarlett and Sean, Richard and Mindy, your third time here. Last week you were a little worried, and then you said, you know what, I'm a seasoned pro, I can do this. Veteran. Three times. Will you be going to the finals? Yeah. Sean, Scarlett, your first time here. Good luck. Here's the deal tonight, guys. I'm going to give each of you three questions, all relating to your camping trip. 
The team that answers the most correctly will be staying in the house with a 50% chance at winning $250,000, going up against a team that's waiting for you guys upstairs, Chuck and Keitelin. Ladies, you will go first. Gentlemen, if you can please wait across the hall in the viewing room. Okay, ladies, this is it. Mindy, we're gonna start off with you, go ahead. One through six. I'm gonna go with four. Mindy, placing food in a bag and hanging it so that bears cannot get to it is known as what in camping lingo? Bear bagging. Yes! That is correct. Yes! Score is 1-0, five questions remaining. Scarlet, in your hands. One. One. Scarlet, what blows up the mountain during the day and down the mountain at night? Uh, fire. That is incorrect. The answer is the wind. Ah, I didn't know that one. So the score remains 1-0. Mitty, over to you. Now remember, whoever wins tonight secures a place into the finals. Uh, two, please. Mindy, this instrument measures elevation by using barometric pressure. What is it? Altometer. Correct. Ah, yes! The score is now two questions to zero. Scarlet, it is in your hands. Six. Scarlet, this item is a mechanical device that uses the Earth's magnetic field to help a navigator plot, stay on, or follow a course or locate a landmark or destination. What is it? Compass. Yes. That is correct. The score is now two questions to one. Mindy, you are in the lead. Go ahead. Five. Mindy, according to your camping book study materials, this type of fire is the very best for quick lighting. Um, a TP fire. That is correct. Gansooks! You have not missed one question. Wow. Score is now three to one, Scarlet. A lot of catching up to do. In cold climates, you should take steps to protect your body from falling into a state where the body is not able to generate enough heat to compensate for heat loss. Name this state. Um, hyperventilation. I'm sorry? Hyperventilation. Hyperventilation? Uh, no. Uh, that is incorrect. I'm sorry, it's hypothermia. Hypothermia. The score remains three questions to one. Guys, come on back in. Welcome back to the elimination room. The score is three to one. Sean, a lot of catching up to do. As a matter of fact, you miss one, he gets one right. They are headed to the finals. All right, ladies, it's your turn. Wait across the hall in the viewing room. Gentlemen, all the questions I'm about to give you are related to your camping material. Sean, you will go first. I'll take number three. Sean, according to your study materials, what are two of the four most common diseases transmitted by ticks in North America? Um, Thanks, Sean. Lyme disease. Yes. And. Yes, please. You can do this, I know you can. Uh, influenza. No. Lyme disease is one. No. Influenza, no. We will accept Rocky Mountain spotted fever, Q fever, and tick-borne relapsing fever. The score remains three to one. With that, Richard, you get this right. You and Mindy will secure a spot in the finals against Chuck and Keitelin. Five questions remain, choose. I'll take four. Richard, poison ivy or poison oak have how many leaflets per stem? Three. Oh, come on, Richard. Two. No, the answer is three. 
Sean, you are still alive. The score remains three to one. Four questions remaining. Choose. I'll take number one. Sean, what is the most popular game fish in America? Remember, if you get this wrong, Richard and Mindy will be in the finals. Trout. And the correct answer is... Bass. Congratulations. Richard, you are now in the finals up against Chuck and Keitelin. Oh I'm absolutely God. sorry. Ladies, will you please come back in? Sean and Scarlett, you guys have come so, so close. You almost made it to the final round. This is a time for me to say goodbye to you guys. You'll have to leave the house immediately. Good luck to you guys. Johnny with the Pawnee. Take care, okay? <laughs> yeah, more. Oh, Thank you, okay? Yeah, it was wonderful. Yeah, fun, okay? Yep. Ciao. You can dance now. No, forget the dancing. I'm gonna give her a massage tonight. <laughs> wherever she wants it. And if she doesn't like it, then she can go to Chuck. And you're walking back upstairs for the third time to show Chuck and Keitelin. Who's boss? You gotta be excited. Yeah. Excited is not the word, Brian. Congratulations, you two. You've come a long, long way. Let them know who's boss there, Richard. That's right. I had a great opportunity. you have gotten to know all these guys. Now I know that they have so much to give. In the past, if you know, a really attractive woman passed by, I'd just kind of sit back and marvel. After spending time with all these attractive women, aside from their appearance, they're really not that much different than I am. The thing about Chuck that I'm going to miss the most is his kindness. He saw more than just a pretty face, which is nice. I think one of the things that I learned from Sean is to have a little bit more patience. I tend to just kind of snap back and, you know, be rude. Sometimes you gotta just kind of push your temper off to the side and like, okay, this happened, let it go. Yeah. Next week, Beauty and the Geek comes to a dramatic conclusion. We're back! After sending Richard to the elimination room three times in a row, Chuck prepares for his final face-off with his arch rival. Why? And in their remaining hours together, the final two teams get one last chance to learn from each other. That's a little close. Mindy, it's windy. But learning may come in the most unusual situation. And in the final elimination, the social experiment all comes down to this. You get this right, you walk out of this house with $250,000. Who has changed the most? Oh my God! Who has made the biggest transformation? Which team has become more than just the beauty and the geek? Next week on the season finale of Beauty and the Geek. How about this? Wait, isn't this one a move too? During the finale, catch a backlot break featuring Jessica Alba and Chris Evans in their new film, Fantastic Four. Wednesdays this fall, a new series from the creative forces behind Friends and Sex in the City, Related. 